Hello, one and all, to Code Weaver Plays Games. And as typical in my extremely noobish stream, I'm going to do a quick little audio test. Do a quick little audio test. Yep, we have that going coming from my laptop. And uh, we're going to go straight on into the game here. Let's not mess around. Let's uh, flip over to my gaming cam. We're going to be playing a Plague Tale Requiem, uh, partially covered up by my visage, as it were. Um, so, I have played A Plague's Tale Innocence twice all the way through. I watched several Let's Plays. I absolutely adore the game. I thought it was a great bit of storytelling. Um, the game uh, does have some sneaky mechanics, or did have some sneaky mechanics, some combat mechanics, lots of story. Kind of linear-esque uh, in its, in its playthrough, I suppose, uh, in many ways. Um, not a whole lot of branching, if you want to take a look at it that way. Uh, and in some ways... Um, let me see what would be uh, another good example. Uh, this would be uh, kind of like a little bit like The Last of Us in the sense of being very story-driven um, in sort of a linear storytelling path, but with uh, some, uh, some leeway within the playthrough. So anyway, that's sort of the style we're going for. I'm not going to try to explain a great deal of what went on in A Plague's Tale Innocence, and there are going to be spoilers for that game almost certainly in this game. Uh, and this is because this is so story-heavy, Spoiler warnings for this one too. Now, I haven't played through this one yet, so I'm going into this blind and I wanted to share it with all of you because it's kind of, you know, it's coming up on Halloween. I kind of feel like I wanted a kind of a moody Halloween-y sort of theme to uh, this playthrough and I don't get to play a whole lot of games all the way through or at least I don't commit to playing enough of them all the way through on my, on my channel because I just do this as sort of a video diary hobby rather than being a formal streamer. Uh, but I there are a few that I play through, and this one is likely to be one of them because I absolutely adored the first one. You know what? Enough of that babble. Let's just get straight on into the game. Very, very brief synopsis. So again, spoilers have already been taken care of, right? Um, very brief uh, synopsis is uh, a sister and a brother are part of a family that have had a history of... Uh, of uh, sort of a, I guess you could say a dark power or maybe not dark but a, a dangerous power that is manifested in their family that is related to um, uh, the uh, the plague, the rat's plague, the bubonic plague I guess um, and, uh, and there was a supernatural component to this involving a high member of the church trying to capitalize on this dark power in order to give themselves power and uh, probably eternal youth. Um, and we had, and, and the, the younger brother is young enough that we had to basically sort of too young to be an adult, too young to take care of himself. We kind of had to take care of him. Like uh, I'm thinking eight to 10 years old, something in that range um, on the younger side of that. And as the older sister, we had to take care of him. And he was very ill as a result of this darkness. The mother had tried to uh, had tried to find a cure or find a way to quell uh, the darkness or tame it in some sense. Um, and uh, as the sister, we tried to continue on that legacy and to try to protect Hugo until he could either be cured or to gain a handle on his power. Turns out that he was able to gain a handle on his power to some degree. And that extremely short synopsis of a rather large bit of lore and storytelling from the last game is where we're going to start here because a lot of it's going to get explained probably in this game. So that having all been said, let's get straight on into this because I'm extremely excited. I'm sorry about the ramble. Don't know why I feel like doing that, but I do sometimes. So let's just go and start on a new game. Now, we may have to fiddle with graphic settings as we go through this game because, uh, frankly, I cranked everything all the way up to torture my machine and my, and, uh, my graphics card. Um, and I tend to favor beauty over ultra performance, but, you know, new game that could totally kill my machine, so we'll have to find out what happens. Uh, we're going to try playing on hard mode because I want a little bit of a challenge on this. But I, I don't have a problem on stream with dropping that down into normal mode um, to balance it out if I find that I'm getting severely stuck by simply gameplay mechanics. Because I'm more interested in the story, but there we go. 
Uh, listening mode. Uh, recognize sound bars, various feet speakers, TV speakers, headphones. Let's mod. Let's uh, go with headphones because that's what I'm using. Text language is fine. Voice language is fine. Display subtitles, yes, for all of you. Subtitles are in English. Any more settings? Oh, like a million other settings. Most of these I've, I've looked uh, through very briefly. Um, is there anything in gameplay I want to fiddle with? No, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to just leave all of these by default until I find a need to change them. And, uh, yeah, let's just get right on into this. Yeah, confirm. Let's find out what happened to Hugo and Amisha. I actually remember the names. I don't remember the names of many of the other characters, though. And there were some great characters. Go and see a playthrough of the original game. I wish I had done a playthrough of it with all of you, but I played it before I started doing any streaming. Under a new sun. I have my coffee. We're ready to go. We're going to do a long stream today. Is it just loading? Do I have to click? No. Alright, we are just loading. Here we go. Oh, so pretty. Desperately pretty. I'm hoping this is a game and not a disaster. Nope, no game. Hugo is looking super healthy. This can't be more than a year. I wish I could... I wish I could remember... His name, oh, Hugo. No, King Hugo. Uh, oh, yes, okay. No, uh, his name isn't Hugo, that's uh, our brother, obviously, and Amisha. Oh, so, it's so wonderful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look around, because I can. Hugo can take care of himself for a moment. Okay, it's going to keep me a little bit on rails here. That's fine. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. The French countryside, I think. Whole shift to sprint. Just check this out. Love this environment. I can tell I'm not getting maximum frame rate, but for a game like this, I'm willing to accept uh, a little bit of frame rate drop uh, to get more beauty. This isn't a Twitch game for me. This is an experience game. That is good enough. But I hope I don't talk any more about hardware during this game, because this, I just want to immerse myself in the feeling. Oh, hello. Lucas. You 
you are not going to find us. We are going to be sneakier than you. This is the best thing ever. Playing hide and seek with uh, Hugo and Lucas. So Lucas is our residential alchemist. When we thought uh, Amisha's mother was dead, uh, he was the only um, one who had the knowledge. Uh, he was the only one with the knowledge to possibly help Hugo. Um, because he had learned his skills uh, from a local alchemist. Huh. Did I hit the wrong... I must hit the wrong button in order to do the scare. So that's fine. Um, we're learning. We're learning what the controls are, because I have to relearn them anyway. All right, let's see if we can defeat him. And press left mouse button to scare him. All right, I thought that's what I did, but. Who the heck is he? Grief. I completely lost sight of him. You were near. You were near. Go, go, go. Now I have you. Now I have you. You have not seen anything. I am stealthy as you can, as you can't. I think it's because we're not every good. Can we do it again, please, please? Oh, I really want to do it again, please. We're gonna do it again until we get it right. Also, because it's ridiculously cute. Prompt. <laughs> Yay! Ooh. Okay, so 
we have learned a little bit of extra lore here. He he effectively inherited the mantle of. I'm going to be stumbling across their dialogue forever because they're absolutely adorable and I want to hear everything. Um, so, uh, he inherited the mantle basically off of a doctor slash alchemist who worked with Misha's mother. Um, his, uh, uh, what do you call it, a guardian, effectively, uh, parental guardian, parental figure, uh, doctor. But that doctor died to the plague and uh, and he sort of inherited the mantle of trying to help Hugo uh, because of that. Uh, but he, kind of a junior apprentice, an apprentice in training, if you want to call it that, but had to grow up really fast and learn some really advanced stuff really fast in order to help Hugo. But at the time, we didn't know that Amisha's mother was alive. And nearing the end of the last game, we found that out. Just um, look around. Anyway, so now uh, it looks like uh, she has taken him under her wing, which is absolutely perfectly sensible in every way. Um, and I'm really glad about that because, boy, we been some great characters in the last game and we lost a few of them and it was heartbreaking. Um, like, seriously heartbreaking. Absolutely. It's so good to see him see him healthy and happy. Okay. Okay, what are we learning here? Uh, okay. Uh, behind the branch? Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I love these two absolutely to pieces. All right. Right, so we've got some auto-aim going on here. Hold to prime and release the shoot. So once we get so once we get a lock on, it's actually helping us do aim assist. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hang on, hang on. I gotta get into position here or it's not proper. Okay, so this is good. So basically all I have to do is hold down the left uh, button in order to prime the shot. Um, and that sets up the uh, sort of the aiming reticle, but as long as I get it targeted, uh, as long as I get the aiming reticle on something closely enough, it then locks on, which is, which will help in complicated situations. I don't know if that's strictly necessary for the game. I could probably turn off auto assist, but given that I'm on hard mode, I'm not gonna be picky about that. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Our... 
just because of that reaction, I mean, this is a this is a big stretch. <laughs> yeah, he was. Okay, so the reason why I'm looking concerned is, and this is a big stretch, but we are in a game about this. Um, whenever Hugo's condition, the uh, the the macula that we uh, learned um, described his condition, this uh, this dark force uh, inside him, uh, whenever it started to change him or affect him, and when he didn't have control over it, uh, he got very tired. Hugo got very tired. He spent most of his days sick. In fact, Amicia did not actually effectively grow up with Hugo uh, because Hugo was kept isolated from her um, because he was constantly sick. Yeah. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, okay, so that control is the same. That's good. Simple sort of vault mechanic. No, hey, no, he's... How dare you? One day, Hugo. Up you go. This can't be more than a year after the end of the last um, if, uh, the last game, given the apparent age of the characters, um, which is just fine for continuity. All right, C for crouch. Oh, C is for permanent crouch. I wonder if there's a toggle crouch. Ah! Fine. Attack the castle is our quest. That's great. Go! Go! Did we knock? Uh, e, e for action key. All right. Okay. Let's check the secret path. Loves her brother so much. These these two, these two, it just just it just gets to me. Whew. Oh hello! Oh that was a little. not monkey with anything here. Oh, wow. I agree, because this is reminiscent of the war uh, between the French and the English as well uh, in the last game as well as the burning of the plague victims like are we having a resurgence of this? I thought, I thought we dealt with this okay yep come on down Ooh. Boy, it's a good sight easier now that Hugo's sort of healthy enough to... Uh-oh. What's going on here? Oh, that's not good. That's not good.
That's fine. That's fine. What has ha- oh, yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Well. It's gonna be one of those days. Also, I'm gonna adjust my camera ever so slightly. Let's, uh... Just kind of cutting off the top of my head. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Yeah, I got a little bit better with that. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh. No, I got distracted suddenly by my camera. I suppose it's to stop me thinking about the fact that I just got everybody killed. Whew, it's going to be a tough game, especially because I really love the characters. I don't want anything harmful to happen to any of them. All right. Uh, yeah, so we can hold E to skip. We don't need this, enter this uh, intro again, but we have to get moving, and we have to be a lot quicker about it. We're going to skip the door. We have to be... Come on, come on, come on, come on, go. No, no, we don't mean anything by it, but we do have to get the heck out of here real fast. Oh, that was a mistake. But now I want to find out if I can help that person. Probably can't. It's probably super dangerous of me to try, but... Oh, ah. Okay. Okay, I'm not getting any targeting reticles, and uh, my attempt to do anything at them doesn't seem to be... Seems to be protecting them like a helmet. Like, what the heck is going on here? If I stand up... Duh! ramped up the intensity right the heck away. This way? No. Stealthy, you can throw projectiles by hand. Open, uh, hold down tab, okay? Hand throw a rock, okay? Aim and then, yeah, there we go. We can move past. Okay, 
How do we get out of here? Uh, anything I can throw at to cause a distraction. I hear bees. Can I do anything on this side of the road? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I can go up here? No. No, oh, didn't manage to make enough of a noise. This is going to get me killed. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's get rid of these bushes as quick as we can, so at least we have some cover. Okay, can we go up? Or can we go through? Oh, we can go under. Okay, so they're wearing baskets because they're beekeepers. Interesting. That's a new mechanic, sort of an emergency distraction. Probably won't work more than once. Okay. Okay. Okay, coming down the hill. up a pot and again we can do pot aim to throw a pot at a surface okay so I want to go that way so let's try Okay, where can I throw a pot that would actually be useful? Something down here that maybe we can grab a hold of. Okay, that didn't get us much more than a single pot. And now we've got the problem that we're trapped again. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, you get the soft glow on the left-hand side of the screen to tell where things are coming from. Ooh, and we can cut, okay, we could have come through and under that. Still got one pot to our name, so that's not terrible. OK, 
Okay. Here we go and type spaces, hold alt, and aim at the passage, and E to ask him to crawl through our gate. So alt coupled with key commands are for Hugo, it seems like. Okay. Good, she locked it again. Oh, magnificent. kind of player that likes to look around absolutely every damn thing. Don't want to go through there just yet. Here's the thing, right? All right, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna. Oh, wait. okay, okay, locked. That's fine. Decision twitch over which way to go, but this has made our decision for us, so that's fine. Hello, no. Okay, some quick time events to help deal with this. Oof. Jeez, Amisha's got game, but that was just brutal. Uh-oh, here it is. And we don't get to see exactly what happened, but I'm sure that's not going to be a permanent um, situation. Okay, so we have uh, another instance of the macula, perhaps? So lovely. Check out the, well, the reflections on that and the birds pretty well animated and oh, oh, the sun reflecting like that. Just beautiful. Oh, are we going? What, okay, so this may be... What? Confused. Why is... Where? 
Why? And I'm a little confused how. Oh, he will know. Um, we have a phoenix of some kind. Okay. Okay, so, uh, fairly intense vision or magical transport. I'm going to go with vision. So, oh, that is so beautiful. So, God, really beautiful. So, is this bird an, a manifestation of the macula? Or, okay. Okay, Hugo. We're gonna get you out of this, okay? Just hang in there. squeeze under okay we are on rails here so mostly this is going to be about looking around and absorbing it we are we are literally I mean I'm controlling my running, but I'm on rails. Oh, here you go. It was always painful and tiring for him before. Why is this happening to him again? And what does it have to do with this this ki this new kid? Does he have the same affliction? Does he have a different one? Can we keep moving, Hugo? Oh, come on, Hugo. Focus a little. Can, if we can keep moving, maybe we can get out of this. The Macula was never strictly evil. It was an it was a sort of a supernatural force, but it was an agent of change. I'm hoping... As painful as this is, I'm hoping this isn't strictly the macula being cruel, but... See Hugo smiling like that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy.
Why are we lying to Hugo again? Uh. Okay, but... We have the kid, so clearly we were at the farm. Uh, Torin is his name, I think. Um, we have a, an unfortunate habit of nonsense. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was going to come back to haunt us, that whole event. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. We know the events at the farm happened because we had the kid. It wasn't just in Hugo's head. Um, and it wasn't just we were playing at the river and then he got tired. Which, I mean, may, you know, his sickness could still be with him at least partially. So that part of it could be, could have been true. But why try to hide what happened at the farm from Hugo? He's been through too much. What? I don't like that Amisha is, is trying to sugarcoat things for Hugo again. Because she had a habit of doing that before. And it never turned out well. Not once. Here, we're going to circle around this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go. Oh, my stars, that was, like, way too close. Okay. Okay, so we got a moment's reprieve here. So they've given us several different avenues, because we could have gone around the other way and, uh, and used some distracting, throwing rocks and the like. Okay, so you're turned around. You're going back. Let's drop down. Can we make it across? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think we can go along those rocks and then clamber down. So I think we have to go behind him. Nope. Drop. 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 No. All right, new rules, new rules. So, oh, okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. So, we burned everything down, apparently. Oh, God, great, okay. What are we doing here? Ooh, ooh, that was a mistake, buddy. Ah, that's going to leave a mark. Let's go up. So apparently we burned everything down, and so what they're going to do is try to burn everything down with me in it. I mean... Ooh, that's bad. That is... Uh, okay, counter. Oh, I see. Okay, so... 
counter, and then strike. Okay, so the combat is going to get attacking enemy, close combat makes noise and alerts nearby enemies. Okay. Boy, howdy have we ever uh, upgraded our combat game. You can eliminate enemies by shooting their heads with your sling. Hold right to aim. Okay, so we got our sling back because we're at the cart. Okay, to aim and then hold to prime and release to shoot. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. I took too long. And, oh, oh, that was rough. Okay, okay. I gotta be faster. I gotta think. Clearly need about a million more cups of coffee. All right, let's do this. God, oh. Oh, God, I do the counter thing. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna, gonna kill me here. It's gonna kill her. It's also gonna kill me. Totally different. Okay, let's, um. Okay, 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 okay. So, oh, and I stood still. Okay. I have got to pay attention. This is going to be really tough because I do have it on hard mode. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. So. Oh, good. No. No, no, I have to counter. I couldn't get the sling up in time, and that's fine. I can't sling my way out of everything. So be patient with me. This is going to take me a while. Oh, great. Oh, great. Come on, come on, come on. No, I'm not letting go of the right. That was a counter. It's not really what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I've totally done that in the wrong order. I have to, I, somehow I'm screwing up my mouse clicks for the sling under combat conditions. So let's try this again. There we go. All right, so let's practice this. Nope, nope, bad practice. All right, I'm gonna have to practice that counter because it's gonna come up, but if I don't practice it now, it's gonna be way worse later. All right, so let's try this again. So first things first, let's get a sling in on this guy. Well, at least I got them. Isha, I am so sorry I'm getting you killed this often. Okay, 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 yeah, go. Okay, so you're done, but let's try to do this by way of counter. Oh my god. Do I really have to time it that closely? That's going to be really tough. Okay, 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 so... Once again, I apologize. This is going to take me a while. I have to, I, I kind of feel like I have to get this right. Let's take, take you out by way of the sling because... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and then strike. Don't know what made that one easier this time. Oh, but now they're starting to throw more arrows at me, so that's a problem. No, no, okay, okay, okay. So, they are definitely going to have more than one spear to throw. So, I really do have to take them out with this shot right here. Okay, now for these guys, I was aiming my uh, sling when I did not mean to aim my sling. All right, let's get this right. Let's get this right. So, nope. Screwed up my controls again. I have this nagging suspicion I should not be on hard. No, 
I did it again. I have this, I have this um, tendency to let go of the rightmost button before the left. Um, and you need to hold down the right to aim. You need to hold down the left to do the, f you need to press the left to do the firing. There we go. Except it didn't work. Oh, I gotta hold down to do the counter. It's not a click. Okay. Okay. Gotta get these controls worked out. It's only gonna get worse. All right. Okay. So I got you. Got you. Okay, 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 so here we go. I am generally going to be better at doing this by way of sling. I've always been more of a sniper style player than a, uh, a melee combat, but I am going to have to be able to do both. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a good solid look around. Now, I don't seem to be ammo limited, which is an interesting uh, difference from the previous game. Um, probably, you know, in pots and... Um, Like, can I... Okay, so hang on a second. Uh, I can always switch to throwing a rock. And I can all... It seems like I can always use my sling. Okay, here we go. I can now get into crouch mode. Take a wide berth. I will grab that in case I need it later. Yeah, I keep wanting to hit the control key for my crouch. So, and I'm doing that kind of automatically uh, with my pinky because it's like I got a spare finger. So let's just go and fix that um, if I can. Crouch. We're going to switch that to control. Aiming, shoot. We don't know the rat sense yet. Um, we do from the previous game, but uh, hand throw pod. Okay, so we have key controls. Previous and next uh, ammo is on a side button if I have it, but it's also in Q and E. Uh, yeah, so we've got a number of other things that we'll learn as we go. But now, yeah, there we go. That'll that'll make me a little happier. What the heck has gone wrong so badly that we're back in the situation of... Okay, so let's... Uh... Really want to be able to do that super stealthily. I mean, I know we didn't have him on the... Hang on. I, I become confused. 
Torin was not with us in the cart. It was Lucas and Hugo that were on the cart. That's fine. Which means that Torin wasn't on the cart, which means Amisha might have been able to get away with her lie, which is still, I think, a lie. Under a new sun, achievement unlocked area, probably. So, newcomers, chapter two. I don't know why I thought that Torin was with us, but. How did I mistake Lucas for Torin? I don't know. Everyone having a good time? <laughs> oh, good heavens. Good heavens. I wonder what got up my nose today. slightly long load times probably because it's loading in super high res assets because once again I'm being ridiculously cruel to my system here we go It's nice that they have something something good happening for them, given all they've been through. Chateau and Brage was their home at the start of the first game. Which got burned burned down in the hunt for Hugo. Because they wanted Hugo for the macula. All right, who can we talk to here? Let's let's go exploring a little bit. See, this is kind of lovely. I mean, granted, these characters aren't necessarily doing a lot here. They're not vocalizing a lot, and uh, they're you know, going through simple motions. This feels a lot more full already than a lot of RPGs I've played. Just, I don't know, feels natural, I guess? Hey, let's uh, see what's going on here. 
What's going on here? Hugo might need a bit of a lesson. somebody brushing their horse. Quite a lovely horse, too. This adds a little bit to this. Because... Oh, hello. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Um, geez, I, I don't know which direction I want to go. Can I? Okay, so I can't go. Can I go through them to the other side here. I guess. what with um, animals getting sick. Uh, I kind of want to go down the side street first. What are you doing here? Playing with sticks and bones, a game I'm not entirely sure of here. And you're just running around because it's fun to run, right? selling fish, but I guess you wouldn't be there to buy fish if you were selling fish. I'd be there to sell fish, though. What are you doing? You're just checking out the flowers. You know what? Fair enough. And that's as far as we can go down the alley here, but that's fine. Some people just appreciating the view. trouble finding anybody smiling in the last game. Oh, and what have we got up here? I'm guessing we can't get past all of you to the other side, can we? Nope, they're blocking us from going wherever we please, so that may not be a big deal. done quite a bit of that already, Amisha, but I get the point. I mean, we had to grow up as Amisha really fast in the last game, and there was a lot of death, and she was responsible for a lot of it, because she had to be, and I can kind of see why, even though she's forced into doing it now and again.
things. This, this feels like a market. This is like more of a market than I've felt in a game in a long time. It helps when you're creating a game that has a more linear flow. <laughs> of course you did. to that opposing street then. Okay, uh, we come down here and oh, can we have a loot? Can we please have a loot? Oh, yes, please. Now let's come back to that. I think I want to check this end of the... Let's do the shooting game. Souvenir. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now obviously we have a million collectibles to find that are based on little skill checks, maybe. Do you have to figure out what the cheering's about? That's both good and bad. Oh. could go up the hill, but I want to come back around the back side of this, uh... Oh wow, what do we got going on here? I had to come all the way back here likely to trigger that, I'm glad I did. Just... Okay. Anything going on back 
here. Uh, which saws where here? No. Uh, okay. Lovely little embankment here. I don't know. I don't know if you go. Really? Because I kind of just want to sneak down the... Okay, fine. Can go down here a ways, though. Okay, so... Here's the problem with the sick animals at the edge of the fair. Hopefully we'll learn more about why that's happening. I agree, Hugo. I know. Fresh bread. Hello? Go up here first, though. Check this. Some troubadours. Oh, well, we're going to fix that. Here you go, buddy. And up. Yes, yes, we should. Yes, already. Uh, can we go up here? Okay, hang on. With uh, Hugo on my shoulders, this is actually taking a bit of a while to walk, but I actually want to come... Uh, and I missed the opportunity to check out that, that little corner, but that's alright. Right, that's okay. I can... We're going back to the market. Yes, yes we are. We're going back to the market. We forgot to get fresh bread. Speaking of which, I'm now weirdly hungry. Oh my. See what's going on. Trouble. The trouble with a really 
sort of fully voiced game is when people start staying sings, staying silent like most of the uh, people around here. Um, you notice it. So, downside. But I wouldn't give it up. Now, is that smoke and burning area that's over there on the upper right hand side? <laughs> I'm not tired, I can stay up forever. Um, I wonder if that's the burning city that we came from. Kind of feels like the right amount of travel distance. Maybe. I mean, we, did have, we were on a horse and cart for at least some big part of it, so maybe not. But if it is, nice bit of continuity. Absolutely. Let's go, Lucas. Let's find our new space. Alright, let's put Hugo to bed. Come on. Hey, Lord of the Manor. Sleepy beast, indeed. Yeah, there's a counter. How dare you? That was a moment from the previous game that was horrifying. Six months. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, I may now have to start actively looking for other collectibles, specifically things, uh, equipment to improve my sling. Um, flowers were a collectible in the last one. I'm gonna have to look into that. So. We are starting to get a little bit more into the game proper, although we really haven't engaged, I don't think, the primary storyline here. Just a little bit of tension to note that not all is well in the world. And now we have a new... Now we have... Now we have a new home to defend. We also haven't met the lord of this place. They 
this is the hide, good to note. Is there anything down here? Wow, some nice sunflowers, that's quite colorful. It's not letting me go any further down that way, so that's okay, let's keep going. Perfect, thank you very much. That is Yeah, it was down here. I think. No. Here. side of this. Hey, more dancing. Yeah, up here. Got it. So maybe we're not quite as welcome here as alchemists. That's fine, we'll figure this out. Okay, we are trying to save Hugo, and Amisha gets very protective and tense about that issue, with a good reason, a really good reason. She's been a second mom to her own brother for a long time, and done a damn fine job of it, given how much they had to do things alone over the last year. Oh. Hello, second viewer, whoever you are. Say hi if you like. I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. All right, so <laughs> now we've got an, an eternal loading screen again. All right, so. Oh, maybe not. Load screen to a cutscene. What have we got going on here? Uh-oh. Except for it to have taken down, for it to have taken down the animals, it would have had to have gotten here before we got here. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean we don't have an influence on the coming of this plague, but 
What is the macula up to? Okay, so that I can pull around. So now we're definitely in a mode where I want to keep a very close eye on the environment to gather whatever resources we can. Yeah, okay, so we can push and pull. We can reorient it, that's fine. But let's... And let me get on top of this, because I kind of want to check out these side wings. I guess I can't. I guess it's only letting me focus on bringing it to this specific location. They did a really good job with the pushing logic, by the way. I, um, I helped implement some pushing logic uh, on... Uh, so I'm a software developer. Hey, how you doing? Um, I actually worked on a game in my past that some of you may have played, Skate 2. I only had a chance to work on one skate game, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, one of the things that I worked on was the pushing objects around logic. Um, and uh, so I know how tricky it can be to get that to work nicely in the environment. And it, it was a lot more general there, too. So there you go, a little bit of history about me. I actually worked on uh, an EA game. Worked on a couple other things in that game, too. This thing is ineffective against some other enemies. Be discreet and avoid direct confrontation. Yeah. Can I... I'm going to try this. It may get me killed. So, what have we learned? So, okay, so I can sneak up on him, but unless I have a way to deal with this helmet, uh, and I can't just knock it off like I could at one point, um, I have to simply avoid them. I don't have a choice yet. Let's see if we can do this right. So, jar onto you. All right, so we can see under this, that's good. I'm now using the C key to try to crouch. Oh, hello. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Let's book it into here. just a pot that might just be a pot but let's go and take a look anyway well you know what we can always do with an extra pot nope you can't carry an extra pot okay i'm really looking for other resources though because they are not going to be that easy to come by and i am in hard mode this is going to be quite the challenge No, no, that was bad. 
That was bad. That was really, really dumb. I did not notice him quite in time, and he was facing me, which was really, really dumb. All right. Yeah, so that's just distracting. All right, so I have to get rid of him. So can we... Gotten rid of you? We have. Anything down there of note? No. Okay. Okay, got the door shut. Okay. Okay, we're gonna about to learn about the animals. Probably at the uh, the rat infestation. The... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. In case you're wondering how grim the game can get, I'm going to give you a forewarning because that was probably pretty tame. This game can get pretty grim, so if you uh, have a sensitive stomach and or sensibilities, not the game to be watching. Should have mentioned that earlier. Anyway, I'm moving on now. You've been warned. I did mention it was kind of a Halloween-y scale game earlier, but... actually come from so I've got two okay so actually I do want to go okay I'm trying to judge myself here I don't think I want to go that way I think I want to grab this So, yeah, this is heartbreaking. Like, Amisha is, frankly, a badass. She's had to be. But she's also had to sacrifice, basically, her childhood. At least her, you know, extremely young adult level of childhood. Uh, becoming kind of an assassin. And I do prefer the silent approach. And if I have to kill enemies anyway, the two ways I'd rather do it is silently at range, silently at close, and distance uh, noisily at range in roughly that order.
do this. Got to stay out of eye shot. I want to fully explore that level. That's not good. No, that's not good, and I didn't have the necessary reactions to deal with it. Uh, we'll restart checkpoint. I kind of want to get under there. do the knife stab thing against somebody in armor. Probably. I could have done a counter. Okay. Okay. Well, I gotta figure this out and try to be less stupid. So I can go up and over this side, I can go up and over, to, over the other side. I actually don't want to kill all of these people. Take a turn, take a turn. You don't want to come into here. Don't want to do that. Especially because I think we've just used up the knife. So that's the, that's the consequence. Is if I have a knife and I use it in that fashion, it, I, I use it and it's over. So a knife, so we've learned a mechanic here. The knife is sort of a get out of jail free card for one character. So good to have a stockpile of those. I may only be able to carry one, but. Okay, and now we're learning about the you can crawl under table mechanics to hide. I have to get better at doing that. So, um, that was sloppy. That was just plain sloppy. I 
And actually, I'm not really sure where to go at this point. And no time to do the counter. Just super quick. I don't have that kind of reaction time. All right. coming so let's get ourselves nicely safely hidden here no we don't no intruders here none of any kind This will give us an indication as to how thoroughly they search. Okay, that saved us. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be trickier than I thought because I'm kind of hemmed in here. We just pop over this. Yes. No, 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 no. Dang it. Okay, so we got a problem. How do we get out of this corner? Okay, leap over. Leap over. Okay, 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 okay. So we have to somehow be a bit smarter about this. He's going to come in here and we're gonna have to take him out somehow. But we're gonna have to do so after he comes in. So we have to take him out in here or, or we're just gonna get spotted. Assuming we can even take him out here.
I'm sure you will. Wanted to get out of this with as few kills as possible, but... to deal with that archer. That archer is just too flippin' dangerous. Okay, we're, we're okay for the moment. He's got armor on, so that's a problem. Okay, pot time. Pot. We don't actually need pot. We could do with this with just hand thrown rock to there. Go. do it. So I've got to, I got to deal with those guys. You need to come back around the other direction. I've got to somehow deal with, got to somehow deal with that um, armored soldier. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, that's not good. All right. That was sloppy. Tricky. Come on, lose interest. Armored. Dang it. Dang it. Don't have the ability to deal with armored characters yet. Oh, it's got me at a different checkpoint this time. Okay.
Oh, right into him. Right into him. Challenging. Okay. Okay. Let's just pop out. going to go this way because now that we've gotten him taken care of the biggest problem is how to get up around the other side because we got that armored guy down below I think I'm gonna have more luck the phone. Is there something under here I should know about? No, no, there's nothing interesting under here. That's fine. cycling around to. You've got your face sort of away from me. Let's just sneak up here. Yes, yes we are. come in here we could have come in here so this isn't the right way to go oh this is great Have I done all of this for nothing? We kind of aren't because I don't know where to go.
kind of feel like it's just down that hill somewhere, but... We're almost out of here to where? Like... Okay, this is dumb. This is just this plainly dumb. Like, how can I not know where the exit from all of this is? If I had to operate on the principle of worst case, maximal, maximally complicated place to get to, where would I be aiming for? the answer to that appears to be this corner. Like maybe that door, maybe that door. Literally. Okay, let's... Nope, nope. Not really agreeing with that. Let's go with... Uh... I passed by it so many times. I am an idiot. All right, let's go. Yeah, the way he handles situations will influence the evolution of her skills. Press I to open the skills menu. Okay. So, uh, makes less noise when moving. Aggressive, uh, push enemies into fire or, or rats when she attacks. Uh, opportunism, knowledge of alchemy, crafts uh, ammo faster. So I want to go with the prudence because I want to go with uh, the, the idea of, um, hey, how you doing? I'm just joining now. I wish I was here from the beginning. Yes, it was... Uh, it was a wonderful opener to it. You can watch it later, either on the stream here or uh, on YouTube, where all my videos get archived. And you can see how this all opened up. And of course, find um, another Let's Player that has done the previous game if you want to find out how this came to be. So we are going to... Um, so the way I'm going to play this, I think, is I'm going to go down into... Uh, the prudence path. I want to be sneaky and I want to try to avoid getting uh, getting people killed in the first place if I can. Which means I'm probably going to end up maxing out the prudence category before anything else. Uh, nimbleness. Throwing stance. Improves her body position if the right is further. Backstab armor enemies with a knife as she cannot spot their weak points. Nice. So this is kind of the path I want to go down. Um, aggressive. Being conscious of their surroundings, keeping calm when attack recovers faster from blows, knowing their vital points, uh, strangles enemies with their sling faster and more quietly. Now that also could be useful. Actually, that would be, yeah, the strangling though is implied to be unto death, not until necessarily unconsciousness. Um, and then finally, being more dexterous, reloads and uses their weapon much faster. So which way do I want to go with this? Because um, yeah, there's no real way to preserve her innocence in this, not really. Um, but I am more of the sniper and the sneaker, so... Oh, that is vicious. I wish she had a knocking people out uh, category, if, I were, if I'm honest, but there it is. Uh... I go with prudence. Can we? Do I have the ability to unlock Amicia? Increase a master of three types of skills depending on your approach style and the tools you use. Oh, interesting. So I don't actually get to. 
uh, choose this by way of like unlocking them with skill points or anything. I literally have to practice the skills in order for these things to become a th positive. So I'm going to focus on I'm, I'm going to end up using the sling a lot. Uh, codex. Okay, so we've got some souvenirs. Um, the reason Ergo's Herbarium is already filled out is because I did take the plunge and I bought the DLC that was available at the, at the uh, sale of the game, which gives me the flowers, so I don't have to hunt for them, um, which is I kind of a bit of a shame now that I come to think of it, but it also gives me some crafting materials and a special bow. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. It was on a whim, um, but it is what it is. So... Uh, it gives me like a, a just style stuff. The only thing it gives me that's of an advantage in the game is it gave me some extra building supplies when I first encounter a uh, build station. And was that worth it on its own from a gameplay mechanics? Maybe. I don't know. Call it whatever it will, but fair. Uh, just to let you know, I did pick up the DLC for this. You can look up what it gives you. It doesn't give you a lot, but it, maybe I felt like supporting the game. I don't usually get DLCs of that nature, but whatever anyway so skills so i actually had to practice these things in order to make them viable now i'm going to get a lot of use out of the sling so i'll probably end up going down the prudence line pretty quickly for that reason um i'm going to be doing a lot of sneaking a lot of crouching a lot of throwing of items The problem with the knife is I think I have to keep collecting knives in order to make this work. I don't know. I don't think it's worth me trying to um, focus ahead of time. I think it's just gonna, it happens when it, uh, whatever it happens. I, Doctor, you probably would have to get used to it. As an alchemist, it kind of depends on what you're using your alchemical skills for. All right, let's um, ascend the stairs and take a look around. Do 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 do. All right, great big old circle here. Is there anything we can do? Boy, howdy, am I glad Hugo's not here to see this. Yeah. And this is a dead end, so if I hadn't have come up here... Going to be lots of little nooks and crannies. I'm going to be searching all of them, so everyone be patient. Okay, we're going to sneak through here. Take a look out through the window, not that it helps. Oh, I did see movement. Probably the guards moving around back there. Okay. Did the plague actually run? I guess we've kind of got the idea that the macula, the plague that comes with the macula. Alright. 
No, no, I'm not. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't. Okay. Oh, we're going to be doing a running across collapsing bridge. Or not. Jeez, how did um, how did the Magister get across this originally? Maybe he has another another way up. Oh, where the heck did we fall to? Nobody's looking to hurt you, buddy. Heck of a place to live, buddy. Ooh. Did I mention we're definitely going on the grimmer side of the Halloween Grim scale? And there come the rats. Yeah, I was waiting for them. And we don't have Hugo to help. Okay, okay. Now we know these from the last game. It's not clear whether the whether the rats themselves are supernatural, but they're massing like they are definitely is. It's at least partially influenced by oh god, by the macula. Oh, oh that's bad. That's that's really bad. That is really bad. That is why are we running backwards? And I died because I did not run backwards soon enough. So that is a really weird camera angle to be taking that from. Um, interesting design decision. I guess that's so that we can see them explicitly chasing Amisha, which is, in fact, terrifying. Okay, so that's fine. So we get to the edge here. We can skip this cutscene because we don't need to see it again. Good God. I mean... Where the heck are they all coming from? Okay, so all I'm doing is basically running towards the camera and it's on rails. Oh, oh, that's bad. Okay. Okay. We actually have a really portable torch, which is actually a good thing. Where did they all come from? That doesn't necessarily mean they're here to kill Hugo. They're kind of at his bidding, sort of. They're sort of the... The denizens of the denizens. Sorry, wrong word. The uh, minions of the macula, the harbingers of it. But we don't have Hugo with us, and we don't enjoy any particular special powers. Not even as the sister of Hugo. Okay, we gotta take a really good look around. Wow, there's so many. The last time we saw this many of them was underneath the, uh, the castle that we hung out in um, in the latter quarter, latter third of the uh, previous game. This is bad. I wonder why it's why it's coming now though. Oh, this is.
Okay, we gotta light that. Every time we do that, though, we're gonna have the problem that we have to relight a stick. Now, it is saying uh, go in as straight a line as possible, but as long as we have an unlimited number of sticks, so we can at least take a look around as long as we come back here and get another stick. So let's. Okay, I think we're getting to the end of that. So light the stick again, a limited amount of time, and we can't do any explicit running. Gotta get to that. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That was a little bit close. Whoever was that guy living down here must have been uncommonly lucky. Uh, control to drop. Oh, I didn't get him up fast enough. Oh, that's bad. All right. Yes, uh, the game is called um, A Plague Tale Requiem. I decided to play a story-based adventure game that uh, has, uh, I mean, it has lots of scary and dark moments because it's kind of, I'm kind of in this sort of Halloween theme um, for the weekend, I guess, because... The North American tradition of Halloween is coming up at the end of the month in a couple of days. Um, it, it, the story itself is actually genuinely um, uh, you can throw the object you're carrying, throw, hold to aim. How do I get him up here? How do I get him up here? Anyway, sorry. Story, uh, scary story for uh, for Halloween. Um, it's uh, it's it's quite a dark tale. Um, it's got lots of supernatural and horror elements just to keep it a little bit tense. All right. So here's the problem. How do we even? See, the problem is, is that's not getting them to back off at all. Uh... Oh, 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 no, that's the wrong way to go. That is totally not the right way to go. But it is a very genuinely, at least the last game was genuinely a very heartfelt story. So you could call it sort of a um, Jeez, I don't know what other modern story uh, might actually qualify. How do I get you up there? Genuinely, how do I get you up there? rescue Lucas this is all right I'm missing something about the the level down here I'm missing something about the environment what am I missing what am I missing I know they don't like light but I only have a finite amount of it I can't throw down um, okay I'm gonna 
gonna run out of fire in a second here, but I'm all the way back. I don't think. I I don't know. Can I command? I can't command Lucas like I could Hugo. Okay. When all else fails and you're kind of stumped, look up! That's what I was missing. C classic uh, video game fail. Did not think to look up. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. I am dumb. I'm smart as a sack of hammers. Alright, here we go. Alright, so... Light this, get to the edge of the environment, and throw that at there. That there, now we've lit the whole environment, and now we can just go up. We don't need to rescue Lucas, he just follows us upward. Can you climb with a stick in your hand? No, you cannot uh, climb with stuff in your hand, which is why that made that a bit of a complicated puzzle. But uh, I was just failing to look up, as it turns out. But very good observation, very good question. Uh, da, 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 da. Because that might have very well been a solution. Yeah, it's the only way. Let's do the thing. That's bad, but he's in the light. He's in the light. Okay, we're okay. Okay, so. Yes, I know you do. I'll get there as soon as I can. Push the rats back. Okay, gotta go save Lucas. Okay, there's our first checkpoint. Alright, and there. Okay, we grab a stick. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so more mechanics in the last game. Uh, I mean, you could throw stuff before, but it was never really the case that you were required to throw a lot of different kinds of objects, especially to other characters. Can I go up yet? Am I allowed to go up? Oh, he's come across to me. Okay. Um, I actually want to go back this way. Can I? It's not going to let me? No, it's not going to let me actually climb up there. Okay. So, oh, 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 that was a mistake. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean, it was dark. That was kind of my fault. So... Okay, I gotta be more diligent. Um, I was hoping I'd get across there to actually take a look at what was going on. Um, let's, uh... Now you can probably fall down with a lit thing, but you can't climb up. Yeah, okay. Let's not... So, yeah, the game is unfortunately linear, but in order to be a good storytelling game, you often have to be, unless you're, like, big open world, like The Witcher, all that. Um, love The Witcher 3. It was a great game. Absolutely huge. Um, but you can craft a, an immersive story in a tighter amount of time and space, a really long immersive story when you can make it more linear with just sort of linear puzzles. Yeah. Must rescue Hugo. Okay, we need to get the doctor. Let's go get the doctor.
Terus We have to figure out why the macula is waking up again and summoning all the rats to Hugo. Great for Hugo, he can probably still control them. Not so good for the rest of humanity, or us, frankly. All right, so let's practice our stealth uh, as we can. See if we can get... Okay, so let's, let's be thorough. you yeah that's probably a good idea anywhere where there's a lot of bones is probably not somewhere you want to hang around for a great length of time but, once again, let's be thorough. So we probably want to light that on fire at some point. Uh, let's quickly pop over to here. else up here so time to check out all right oh all right I actually have to control the walking around the thing that's fine it's a perfectly sensible mechanic So this is our learning mechanic about alchemy for this game. Alright. Alright, so this is where we learn. Okay. Alright, keep the rats occupied. One way to do that. To give them something else to occupy their attention. That will occupy them for a while, which means I can come down to the bottom, I think. No! No, it's not. No, it's not. I didn't distract them enough. Sorry, Amisha. Okay. Alright. But that is part of the answer. So, one, is there another one that I'm missing? Got a lot of them, it just doesn't have enough. Oh, I see. I, I'm. Yeah, right. Good times to not fall. Alright. That is just gonna kill me, though. Oh, ah, there's another one. So I got the rest of them. Okay, okay. So let's take a good quick look around since we have a moment. Okay, we've got a ladder. Alright, we got a ladder. <laughs> That's all we have. But we do have a chest which probably contains alchemical ingredients. course we're relearning skills that we already had in the first game uh, but that's okay okay 
fresh sulfur. Let's... Okay. You are a badass, Amisha. is where we're learning about directing our companions a little bit more. So the funny thing is, is they don't have, except that I kind of wanted to be on that. Um, oh, except I, ooh, except maybe I don't have to be on that. Maybe I can just cross it from this side because I am again a bit of an idiot. All right, away we go. Uh, okay. Uh, Yeah, I can move this, but where do I want to move it to? I want to be able to get, oh, I want to be able, I want to get this off of here. So that, I, okay. I'm not being efficient. Oh, no, okay, okay, hang on, let me think about this. I want to get it on to the elevator. That's what I want to do. That's part of why the elevator is here. learn about alchemy. Okay, we can now craft. Okay, uh, right, sorry, hold down Scroll wheel? There we go. Scroll wheel to select Ignifer. Uh, I don't have a fourth mouse button here. have a fourth mouse button here but that is that is really awkward I don't like the fact that it's forcing me to use uh, the right mouse button in order to be able to or the a fourth mouse button in order to be able to do it that's super awkward um, okay let's alter that control because that is gonna drive me bananas um, settings controls sorry about the delay let's figure this out uh, scroll up and down. I just want to make sure nothing else is on middle mouse button. Oh, can I use Q and E? Hang on, settings. Gonna be really. 
can we do for next and previous weapon that I'm not already using? Um, Might work. I'm a little confused. Nope, that's not what I wanted. You're really going to force me to do this. Really hate doing this in the middle of a stream, but this is really going to be annoying if I can't figure out an alternative way to do this. Uh, aiming, strike, close combat, that's fine. Um, figure this out. I have to figure this out. That's next and previous ammo. I've got that that sorted out. I don't think it's going to let me not use a fourth mouse button, which is super weird. How would that even work on, uh, on mice that do not have a fourth mouse button? That is super strange. Oh well, I guess I'll have to get used to it. So that, and then selecting with that, oh, that's super weird. All right. All right, all right, all right, let's, uh, let's get back over to the light here. So, um, here we go. Super weird. Okay, I'm back on. All right, I'm back on rocks. Let's get back to the game. Um, back to the game where now everything's lit. second let's um before we abandon this area let's check to see if there's anything else under Ooh, hello. idea which way to go. Okay, okay, so, right, get a handle on this, I gotta switch over to here, I gotta craft at least one more. But 
let's uh, go to using a sling. All right, so that gets us in here. Which gets us some more supplies. Quite a few more of these ignifers, it looks like. Um, okay, this is a new mechanic, so we can go with the clay pot. Was badly timed that was badly timed but at least now we know that mechanic the question is do I want to come into this section or do I want to go into that other section all right let's um I have this nagging suspicion I can't afford to leave resources lying around in these levels so Maybe we should check out this side first and see if we can get anywhere. So, uh, we have some ignifer, we have one ignifer left. So let's go ignifer with a sling to get into here. up, more supplies. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Problem is, is we need more ignifer, so God, this interface is so weird. And we don't want that, we want the clay pot version. our way back. And that's how we get that up. Okay, so let's, in case we have to come back here, let's make sure that we can, okay, so, except I don't want to ignore thank you very much. Want a sling, but nope. Actually, I don't want to do that yet. I want to, I want my sling, but I don't want to be using the ignifer. Um, don't want to craft. Thank you. That's what I want to do. There we go. Nope, and that's not what I want to do either. Uh, controls are a little bit weird. All right, here we go. probably don't need to do this because I probably don't need to come back in here but in the off chance I do let's get the place lit up all right now we've got that sorted all right can we all 
I gotta get to the other one next, I guess. Valid point, Amisha. Valid point. Extremely bad. There's something over there. All right, all right, so we're gonna be spending a lot of Ignifer figuring this crap out. what we needed but I also need to be able to get rid of them locally here except I can't because I don't have oh yes I get one more pot all right here we go and that gets me here Okay, uh, then we want to go to then we want to go to here. We want to switch off of the ignifer. We want to stay on the sling. We want to take out this distraction, which then gets us out of this corner. Oh, and I could have used that to get that other item without using clay pots. That was done. Okay, or without using ignifer. That's okay. You live, you learn, and I got some ignifer practice. Complicated. Can I do anything with these cages that's relevant? No, probably not. Here we go. All right. Get out of here. I'll go with that. So do I. We could use a few friends in this business. Okay. Checking around. Yeah, so will I. Classic video game logic, every door is locked. Yep, 
it is nice to see amongst all this destruction that there's still a little bit of life. This this happened in the uh, yeah like before. So new collectibles to look out for. Uh, the flowers, just like in the previous game. New flowers, it looks like, which is nice. Okay, we want to keep a good sharp eye out. Okay, I don't quite want to do that yet, because I think that leads me into that section. I want to come up here, up the ladder. There we go. Good idea to come up here. Spotted it just barely, but that gives us a few extra resources, which we are desperately going to need. And now we go. Oh, come on. No, all the way down, please. Thank you. Now we can get down here and cut through this uh, central area. An entire order of, uh, of alchemists. I can dig it. Place to hide here and makes the obvious question who did they have to hide from? couple of things I want to do. I want to check what's in that building and I want to check out what's in this building. This just leads around the back um, and we can go up and over. So that's, do I want to go up and over? I do. I really do. Nobody to find here. Chill out. It was just a crow. That's all you saw. It was just a crow. Oh, hello. We definitely don't want to go that way. We want to go this way.
go. That was not well done. In no way was that well done. We have to... We have to do this with less stupid. I'm getting out of this very much not dead, if I can at all avoid it. Alright, alright, I'm back outside. They are rummaging around upstairs, and that's fine with me. Come on, get me in the grass, get me in the grass. Okay. It's inside this building and work my way around to the back. Maybe there's a, a way up from the back. get me anywhere except I triggered something bad that sounds like the macula got loose That's not terrible for us, though, because it's a distraction. Oh, no, that was bad. I am being unobservant today. All right. Reach the South Tower. Okay, so I have to be to figure out where the heck did that archer come from? That arrow came from somewhere. Problem is that's really well lit, so we kind of want to go back downstairs if we can. How did we get in here again? get out of this upstairs dwelling now that I'm stuck up there. Jeez, I keep getting myself stuck. Oh boy. Nope, nope, nope. direction, but I have to do so when that guard can't spot me. But I've dropped down to the grass. Okay, okay. So you're wandering away. almost got caught by him, but I'm in the grass and he seems to have lost me. Calm down, go look a different direction, please. Nope, 
bad. Over this. Let's tuck in here. I got guards coming in around the back. But he's not finding us. Scoot you. Find someone else to bother. He's got armor on, so I can't sneak up behind him and, and uh, do anything to him. Who spotted me this time? Oh, here we go. I can't seem to, no. Couldn't seem to actually, oh, we can see an armor on. I can do the initial, like, uh, distract him, get him off of his feet for a second, but I can't take him out with my sling. Okay, this is problematic is what this is. How do I even get around any of this? Because they're armored, I really can't do anything to them. I'm going to go all the way around the outside of this. That was where I came in. Okay. Um, This is super risky. I'm gonna die right here. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I can't, oh, ugh. All right, so I can't, I can't get that far. What I really need to be able to do is extinguish that guard's light. to do something clever here. I need to make more fire. 
with a sling. That gets me that far. And that would at least be a safe place for me to hunker down. So let's try this. I don't want to go up. I think that's what I want to do here. I want to light this on fire. I want to light this, which gives me a little bit of a buffer zone, and then I want to go up, because that gets me access to this, which I spotted at a distance. Gives me a few extra resources. A place to hide if I need. And this. So that was definitely worth uh, making my way up here. And a stick. Take a quick look around here. Ooh, that does give me access to that brazier. Oh, there's a chest right there out by the guard, but I'd have to take out the guard in order to get it. Um, and I don't have the ability to do that without a knife, which I don't have. I don't think there's anything else I can distract him with either. Resources do I have available? I don't have any torch sticks here. I'm trying to preserve my ignifer. Oh, except now I can't go back. Okay, so I am committed to this one way or the other. Can I drop down here and not die? Well, let's find out. No, no, I can't. Why can't I? Okay, let's try. Come back here and grab this, grab a stick from. Can I? Nope, if I hop over there, I'm dead. And I can't get back to the sticks. Okay. Oh, and that was bad. That was horrific. Okay. 
wow. There definitely might have been several different directions to go to here. Back out here for a second. Okay, so there could have been possibly two different directions to get to here, and I'm not going to waste a lot of resources circling it back the other way, so that'll be for another playthrough. I think my objective is actually through here. So I think what I have to do is. is not that. Trying to do that on the fly was dumb. Dumb with a capital um. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. We do this. We then have to do this. Then we have to do this. Then we drop down. And then we still have a small gap of these to cover. Boy, they are really making us work for it, aren't they? And we have to race our way through here. Oh. This is really rough. I mean, they've been through so much, and they shouldn't have to go through it again. Such is the fate of heroes, I guess. Hopefully he has a better way to get to him than back the way we came. Take a really good look around. I think I need that told to me again, how about it? Be able to talk to me? No, okay. Uh, Alright. 
So. Come on. A lot of work to find a doctor, but it is a particular doctor with a particular skill set. Incidentally, it wasn't the English versus the French in our case, it was the Spanish, but... Guys, willing to help him. Boy, he's a pompous ass. Think when next. Think when next we have a change of chapter. I may call it a session and get some food. Chapter 3 of Burden of Blood. So we're going to watch the intro movie of this. The minute we get control, though, I'm going to save the game and we'll, we'll call it a session. Misha needs to learn some patience, but she has also been singularly responsible for Hugo for a huge part of him surviving the first wave of the Macula's influence. So, in any case, that is where we're going to call it today. Um, I'm going to keep playing this. I know I keep saying that about a lot of games, and I really do need to complete some of them. I've got a laundry list as long as my arm. Um, 
but I really love this story, um, and I enjoy little puzzle challenges and little combat challenges, and it's just my shtick. Um, and so I will do my best to finish this game on stream with all of you. In the meantime, I, uh, I'm going to say thanks so much for joining me. And this will end up on the YouTube uh, backup archive uh, shortly after this, because um, it only survives on Twitch for a week now. And I hope to see you there. Uh, the link to the Twitch is in my profile, so just grab it from there. Uh, this has been fantastic. Um, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next stream.